His stories one not only of success, but one of passion. John's personality was kind of uh, unstoppable. You can't help but get behind any idea that he has. An idea that changed the world. Dr. John Kopchik, world-renowned molecular endocrinologist whose passion is contagious. He got you to believe in his science, and he got you to believe in the, the not just the underlying science, but also connecting it to how this is going to be beneficial to patients. His tenacity and his belief in his compound, John never swayed in that he felt it wouldn't work. I've always been inquiring in terms of why things are the way they are. Often people say, and I, I agree, you take one step forward and two back, but that's the way science is. You make one discovery, but it leads to other questions. But question after question led to an incredible discovery. He did something that was outstanding for treating uh, acromegaly, this gigantic disease that people have large heights and big bones. John figured out a way to make that first compound the world's first growth hormone receptor antagonist. If you have too much growth hormone, there's some very deleterious effects. John's compound certainly changed things. These patients, these acromegalics, really benefited greatly from, from uh, John's discovery. I'm excited to get started on it. Yeah. How long does it take the whole process? There's nothing better, nothing more humble than to have a patient who uses our compound, our drug, to either email or come visit personally and, and just say how thankful they are. Uh, it, it gives me chills and uh, I tear up uh, when that happens. It's very, very, very nice, wonderful feeling. This drug is making an impact and for our students and for me personally to see that was just really important. It motivates us, it's inspiring. I don't think we've seen the end of the story of the impact that his drug will have. Be real important in terms of Dr. Kopchik also has a personal impact on those around him. He exudes passion. He loves what he does. That passion can be contagious. And you know, you get excited about something and it gets everyone excited. Oh, that's good, Bob. He uh, had everybody engaged. He had everybody uh, really as passionate as he was about what they were doing. He was supportive, he was a mentor. These people were unbelievably just so turned on about what they were doing and it, you could tell it was, it was derived directly from, from John's transfer of his personality to them. And that, I think, underscores a lot of what has made him successful. Okay, Wynn, what do we have here? These are what? I call him unstoppable. He's a man that won't take failure as, and, as a setback. He will right. do what it yeah, takes to get around that. Than it's easy to be around John for all kinds of reasons, in addition to the fact that he's an incredibly generous person. He's not only generous with his time for, for students who really need it, but he's generous with the money that he's made in this process. Dr. Kopchik's generous spirit comes from a humble place. Well, my wife and I, Shar is her name, we feel it's important that if you are a bit successful, and if your success is dependent upon something, in this case of my education at GSBS, it's nice to give something back. Without my stay here, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, so we felt it very important to give something back, and, and we both feel that we would like whatever we give back, some of that uh, resources to go to students that may be in need of, of uh, monetary assistance. We were. So we were first in our respective families to go to college and then go on to advanced degrees, and it was a struggle. Uh, so, so we're hoping to help those kind of students. There's a statement about giving forward. And for me, that is important because had John not gotten scholarships to come here, we wouldn't be where we are. He clearly knew the value of having a named fellowship because he himself had one of the most prestigious fellowships at MD Anderson when he was a grad student, the Rosalie B. Height Fellowship. And so beyond the named fellowships, the gift will grow in time and it'll turn into a research fund we're very fortunate to be able to engage John to think about how he can 
help the next generations of students here at the GSBS. John's gift will enable us to continue to, to attract the best and provide opportunities to, to students to really come in and excel. We need the assistance from our donors, from our patrons in this regard. This is truly transformational. It's not just a generous gift, it's a transformational gift. So we're really very excited about it. Well, we just want to take a moment to say thank you so much to you, John and Shar. The gift that you've given to the MD Anderson UT Health Graduate School is going to make an amazing impact, and the legacy of your gift is going to be felt for generations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much for this awesome gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your wonderful gift. <laughs>